morning y'all how are y'all doing today i'm outside here with mark mark is i don't know where he is he's looking for his boot he has one sandal on and one boot he left his boots out on the porch and one of the dogs must have took it somewhere but i'm not here i'm gonna feed the chickens and the pigs here really quickly i did their water yesterday evening so i don't have to do it this morning might have to do chickens water this evening but as of right now it's okay and i got my milk and pot and my rag and some warm soapy water i'm gonna go milk daisy we had to start locking up the little bull calf because he was like the little orphan now he's just like the big milk hogger and he wouldn't leave us with any milk so we have to lock him up at night it's like i said he'll just drink her dry and we won't get any so first thing in the morning you have to get down all the animal chores and milk daisy and after that i think i'm gonna work with indy it's supposed to rain today he was supposed to rain last night but it never did as you can tell from the clouds they're all gray yesterday was warm it was warmer but this, in the morning and the evening was beautiful and that's the times that i was working with the horses when it was all nice outside because in the afternoon it got really warm Oh yes, and the little baby chicks. Y'all hardly ever see them. They are getting so big. And I thought we only had one rooster, but we actually have two. So I did mess up on one of them. We have, Lord willing, two people coming today for Piglet. Someone wants the orange male Piglet, and then I don't know what the other person wants. I don't really know, but yeah, so that's super exciting. We might only have one piglet by the end of the day, unless they want to, I don't know, but we'll see. Let's pray that they come. Yesterday, someone was supposed to come and they never did. You have those people, you know, they're like, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, and the last second, they're like, no, I'm not, so it happens. You know, people, things come up in life. I already fed you, what, what, what do you want? Oh my goodness. All right, let's just go milk the cow. Look what the dogs do to get the gophers. They make these big old holes in the middle of our little orchard area. <laughs> you always gotta watch your step. And Ella, there's another one over here too. That's what they do to get the gophers. All over our property, they dig to get the gophers. It's a good thing, but then you gotta film them all afterwards. Oh my goodness. So dad just looked at all of our fruit trees here a few days ago and I think of about 110 and 60 of them died. So more than half of them did not make it. They're just like a dry twig like that. And I don't know what happened because some of them are like that and some other ones just died. Like out of nowhere, you know, they just died. Look how well the squash is doing. It is taking off. Mark is trying to catch little Cookie. She's just crazy girl running all over the place. Good morning, Joey. Hey, cowboy. What are you doing, buddy? Like just run. All right. No, no. All right. Well, she cannot go behind the barn, though. That's the thing. Back this way. Oh my goodness. All the dogs are like, yay! Someone to play with us. Come on, let's go. Get the old kind of not really. Wait, wait. I got her. No. Get her caught. She's Good morning. Wait. He's funny. Thank <laughs> you. 
We just finished milking, y'all. She's all done. We're gonna be moving them out here on pasture. We kind of need to be all there, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, yeah, I can set up my camera. Hold on. A second. I slept her collar. It's yeah. Yeah. Well, you are a king. starting to edit a music video y'all normally on a kind of a normal day in the life I would be outside working with Indy right now but the weather's saying it's supposed to rain you know it really looks like it can rain and it was already kind of like sprinkling outside so I already know what's gonna happen as soon as I saddle her all up it's just gonna start dumping rain so I'm gonna just edit my music video here and then I will see how the weather is I might have to pick up my vlog tomorrow uh, because it'll be probably more of a normal day in my life because I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And then y'all will see me work with the horses in Indy. She's doing really awesome, y'all. I cannot wait to show y'all her. I have definitely came out of the round pen a whole lot. I'm working on trotting and loping like in a straight line because I've just been doing it in the round pen, just working straight. And uh, yeah, we've been doing a lot of cool things like in the pasture and all that. So I'll show y'all that, but I hope today we can, but I might have to wait for tomorrow. Are y'all ready for my serious face? morning y'all today it is not raining so that is wonderful you know where the highlanders are that little pasture right there it's just the perfect little pasture right there well someone tomorrow is coming for the highlander cows lord willing <laughs> it seems like they're coming they're super interested and it's been the same people as i said in like in a couple videos ago they're just putting up fencing but now they just finished so they should be coming tomorrow so that is so awesome but i have an idea for that pasture what if that's like my little horse like riding area like in there like I can set up some poles yeah some poles and like a few barrels to go around that wouldn't that be super cool but yeah that's super cool isn't it I think that's gonna be super cool if we turn the Highlander place kind of into like a horse riding area no it's still gonna be pasture don't worry it's still gonna be pasture just like owls mostly ride in there so that's where I can set up some stuff <laughs> she's so stinking cute Oh, but she's honorary, y'all. She is honorary. Oh my god, she's like, she like runs away on purpose so you can't catch her. She's like, nah, nah, you can't catch me. But she's way faster than us by a lot. Anyways, I got Andy, and since the run pen is really wet, I'm gonna be lunging her just out here on the lunch line. So I'm gonna do that. I'll set y'all up on the round pen, but pointing to the field. How about that? Sun is rising, your shadows fall behind. And all the way you carry is weighing on your mind. I'll be there to show you all the things you're missing. Everything we go. Be by your side, so let's run away to far away places. Escape from this life we have known. Your eyes are new worlds to discover. Your heart is the place I call home. The 
Here buying a piglet here very soon. Mark set up this thing with hog panels and some T posts so that right here we can just close it off and then we can just catch the piglets in there. It'll be a lot easier than trying to catch them in this whole area. <laughs> like it's super crazy when people come like, hello, let's try to get the piglet, and they're kind of like grinding all over the place. It'll be a lot easier once they have a smaller space. And I think the one they're gonna be getting is the orange male right there. I think that's the one. But in the meantime, I still have Indy tied up to the round pen. I'm just gonna ride her around a little bit more, and then when the pig people come, I'll probably tie her back up, then I'll probably ride her a little bit more, and then I'll probably be it. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep working with her. She's doing really good, y'all. She's amazing. I can already tell she has like so much go to her. She's just, yeah, she has some speed, y'all. She does. When you ask for it, oh, she gives her, she gives it her all, y'all. When you ask her to lope or I haven't really galloped her yet. <laughs> I really want to do that, but like, man, when she's loping, she's loping hard and she's doing it. And she's doing amazing. She's awesome, y'all. Right up my alley. It's the next day, y'all. Mark and I just finished milking the cow. And y'all, someone today is gonna be buying the Highlander cows, like I said. I know this has been like a crazy day in my life, like a few days put together. But today, we're, ha we're the Texas boys. We're so nice, and we're gonna go pick up their cattle panels to set up as like a cattle chute so that we can drive the Highland cows onto this person's trailer. So we're gonna be picking those up right now. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> we're kind of like in a rush. It is the next day y'all and today it is a beautiful day. It is so pretty outside. You could not ask for better weather or a more beautiful day. Yes y'all, the Highlanders are gone now. I know the vlog kind of just stopped yesterday as it did like a few days ago in this vlog. It's, as I said, crazy vlog. I'm so sorry y'all. It was supposed to be just like a one vlog but it's kind of all over the place but it's okay. So yeah, the Highlander's gone. It does look a little strange with them gone, but y'all, they went to a really, really good home. I think they upgraded in their life. <laughs> they have a brand new barn, a good pasture with a loving family. So, and they all went together, y'all. So that is super awesome. We just really needed to simplify things here, y'all. And I really need the space for training horses. Yesterday evening, Mark and I, we set up all the poles in there and we set up some barrels in there and I cannot wait to ride Indy in there. I was gonna go out there and ride her right now. But y'all, we've been really busy this morning. They've been, yeah, Mark got like a lot of weeds out the garden. Dad's been planting a lot of fruit trees because I forget if I mentioned to y'all, but a lot of our fruit trees died, so we're replacing them. And what else? Just a lot of stuff, y'all. And looky there we are incubating our first eggs we started that this morning and we are so excited we put mostly blue uh, eggs the easter eggers and the leghorn eggs and we just have like three of the brown eggs which they could be bear rocks x links or 
few other kinds. Most of our egg layers are brown, so we don't really know <laughs> which they are, but it's super exciting. It's our first time doing it. It's super cool. We are so excited. We cannot wait, y'all. It's be super exciting. But anyways, I'm going to go outside, y'all, and go ride Indy around the pools and the barrels for the first time. Yes, let's go outside and go do that. Oh, yes, I almost forgot to mention that... We only have one more little piglet left, and it's the runt. I knew he was going to be the last one. I call him Mr. Wrinkles. Seeing who's born, he was Mr. Wrinkles because he was just so tiny. And when he would nurse, he would like sit down, and he'd just be so wrinkly. So I call him Mr. Wrinkles. None of, the, none of the other ones really look like that. He's like so wrinkly. He's like, you know how the other ones are more long? He's more like squishy, you know? He's like so tiny and more like squished together <laughs> i don't know but he's our last one so we'll see if we can sell them if not i think that'll be okay so we'll see y'all he's super cute oh yes and chubs he is getting the sun it's a beautiful day isn't it chubs windows open your sun and yourself it's beautiful isn't it chubs oh my goodness Wow, yes, I can't believe I let this vlog get into this of it being days upon days type of vlog. I was wanting it to just be one solid day, but it kind of didn't. I don't know. I kind of just feel like every day in my life is the same old thing. And I feel like I just do the same thing every single day. So, like, when I have to film, I feel like I've already filmed that before. I've already filmed that. So, sorry if this vlog's been kind of all over the place. But I wanted to show y'all something that Dad and the boys did today while I was busy with the horses. You know our little chicks here, y'all. Well, I, like, completely messed up, like, big time. I thought we only had one rooster. And then I you see the two with the, like, the copper necks. I thought those two were roosters. And I wasn't really looking at their combs or waddles or anything. And it turns out we only have one hen and four roosters. So I was totally off on the feather sexing y'all. I thought I was right, but <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> so yeah, so now we have four roosters and one hen. It's, I think it's gonna be still fine though because we have so many hens. I think it'll be fine. We'll have enough roosters to cover all of our hens to fertilize them. So I think it'll be all good. I think it'll be all great. But look at this huge area. This is what I was going to show y'all. The boys did all this. It's all fenced in. It's almost as huge as our other chicken coop just for these little chicks right now. Look at all that grass in there. And our plan is, y'all, since we have four roosters in here, we're going to take probably about half of those hens and throw them in here once these roosters become fertile. Right now, they're still chicks. They're not really full grown yet. So we're just going to wait probably, I don't know, we'll have to see until they become fertile and all that <laughs> but yeah anyways y'all i think that's about it tonight is a beautiful evening the last few evenings have just been so gorgeous look how pretty the clouds are look how pretty oh it's can't really see it right from right here y'all it's so much more pretty in person <laughs> at the end of the video i'll show clips of how the clouds were it's been probably about 15 minutes and the sunsets go down pretty quickly. So, yeah, you'll hear the crickets, just the stillness. It's so peaceful, y'all. But anyways, y'all, that's it for today's vlog. Thanks so much for watching and for hanging out with me today, y'all. It's kind of been like a crazy last few days of me filming. It's really all over the place and I kind of forget what I've filmed, but I guess I'll see once I edit it. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too much trouble editing all the days, smooshing them together and actually making it make sense because it's pretty crazy and sometimes that don't make sense. So, Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching and I pray y'all have a really blessed day and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!